seated. On behalf of Matt and Amy and their families, we, would, we welcome you today, family and friends and neighbors and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. We welcome different churches today. We welcome different denominations today. Uh, is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Matthew and Amy, do you both acknowledge and accept matrimony as ordained by God? Desire to walk it in fear of the Lord. I do. I do. Matthew, do you believe that God has intended and preserved Amy to be your wife? I do. Amy, do you believe that God has intended and preserved Matthew to be your husband? I do. Mm -hmm. 
Amy, standing here today with you is proof that God still answers prayers. And that prayer was being able to be your husband. The love that we share is something so special, it's hard to explain. And it's something that I treasure deeply. God had to have had his hands in all of this to bring us together. My love will remain no matter what life throws at us or where God leads us. And with his help, I will always stand by you. I will always be the husband that you need and the husband that you deserve. I love you and I'm so excited for you to be my wife. Matthew, they say that once in a while, in the middle of ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. You are my fairy tale. And today, with you, is the start of a new and beautiful chapter. With all that I am, and with all that I have, I promise to love you, honor you, and respect you. You have made submission a joy, and shockingly, a natural response. <laughs> I promise to support you in whatever God has for us. I don't know what life has in store. But what I do know is that I will be right by your side, walking beside you as long as we both shall live. You, Matthew, have captured my heart and my trust and hold it in your hands. At this moment, I am committing it to you forever. Before God and all these witnesses, I take you as my husband forever. you both promise together to keep yourselves only for each other and to seek the good and to live together peaceably and that nothing shall separate you until God separates you from hell through death. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be with you, and join you together and add, you, add his blessings that you may live happily together as husband and wife. To the glory of God and to the honor of his Son, Jesus. And what God has joined together, let not men put asunder. David Kaufman, will you come and lead us in a prayer of blessing upon this couple? Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would bless this union as you have put it together at this moment. I pray that it would last a lifetime. I pray that your blessing would be upon it. I pray that you might that they might continue to be best of friends as they journey the path of marriage. I pray that their love they have for each other would be a love that would be ravished in each other and no one else. I pray that they too would continue to care for each other's hearts deeply. They would uh, learn to, to love each other in ways that matter. I pray to give Amy the humility needs to respect Matthew. I would pray to give Matthew the courage that he needs to love Amy well. I too pray that, that they may learn to celebrate each other's differences as they walk together. I pray to might protect this union against evil, uh, evil forces, against the evil one that wants to destroy marriage. I pray your hand may rest upon them. I pray that you that might shelter this new union as they journey in life. In your name we pray. Amen. Just
Hamilton, maybe. Seems like God has something big in store for you. It's my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Hoddle as husband and wife.